Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well and I hope you all had an amazing festive period. Today I am with my Sully boy and we are going to be sharing with you everything that this gorgeous boy got for his first Christmas. He was very, very spoiled, so I thought I would just share with you some of the things that he received and also where they are from if you're looking for anything similar. He was so tired out from Christmas Day that on Boxing Day he just literally slept the whole day, bless him. First of all guys, this bag is from Tesco. My mum packed all of our presents, so Sully, Ben and I in these reusable bags but I thought they were a really nice size so I'll definitely be pulling these out every Christmas. First of all I got Sully this sausage dog and he absolutely loves this sausage dog don't you? This is from HomeSense but it's a really nice big toy and then it has this squeaky in the middle this is from the brand kelly toy which is actually the same brand as these squishmallows that i shared with you guys so i'm gonna let him play with this one while i show you what else he got the other thing um most of these toys actually are from home sense home sense and tk maxx do the best dog toys and they're really affordable as well so I got him this green glittery, it's a rubber ring and it's also got a squeak in it as well. Really likes this one, it's a nice big size. The thing with Sully is he does tend to chew his toys. Oh, oh have you dropped your sausage dog? Let me get him. He does tend to have a real good go at toys and really chew them, but I prefer that he chews the toys rather than the furniture and things like that. And this is quite durable as well, which I like. This is another goodbye from Home Sense. He really likes this one as well. This is super solid inside. It does have a squeak inside it. It's made of this really durable rubber, and then it's got the plush fabric on the outside side and he really loves this as well don't you there you go then the other couple of things from ben and i toy wise were these these are also from home sense this one is like a tennis ball bone it's by the brand trixie and again this is really nice and hard and he also likes these rope toys so I thought this one was quite nice this came in lots of different not from my mum I believe this was from a TK Maxx slash home sense as well he got this cute parrot <laughs> Sunny hang on a sec and it has this rubber ball bit here that he has chewed a bit already then these rope legs which are really nice and then the plush neck part and the head also has a squeaky neck. What I put for him in a box was lots of treats. So I managed to find this really nice box from Poundland. He knows there's treats in here and I just filled it with lots of goodies that he can have on christmas day i did leave this on the coffee table and he managed to open the lid and get in there but luckily he only had one of the treats not all of them in here i just put some of that shred that i got in poundland that i featured in my christmas eve box and then we just have a lovely selection of treats in there wave good boy Next up, he received a couple of clothing items. They're more coats. The first one is from my mum and dad, and this is, you guessed it, from HomeSense. They had a lovely selection of coats in there, but we really like this one because it's got the fleece lining, and it's also Velcro, so it's not restricting, and you can get it off quickly. I like the neck area as well because it's nice and loose. This is by the brand Hotel Doggy. This was £12.99 just so you can get an idea. And of course it has a hole for the leads. The other coat we got from a friend. This is absolutely gorgeous but unfortunately it's a little bit too tight on him. 
This one is from Primark. I was eyeing this up only a couple of weeks ago, but I think he does need a medium in this because he has grown quite a lot, guys. But I thought this was absolutely adorable. I love the fact that it's a yellow rain mac. Hopefully we can get this changed if they've got any left. From my sister-in-law, Sully also received a bag of treats in this cute reindeer bag. I thought this was a lovely idea. My mum also got him a couple of different bags of treats to try. These are just fun ones that we'll give to him occasionally, but they're just nice to have if you're on a walk or something like that. So these ones are from Aldi. These are like marshmallow shaped ones and liquid fill sorts. And there was also some ones that are a bit like chocolate Kit Kats. These are beef and lamb. Then this one as well, which is a stocking full of chew treats. He loves the rawhide ones. He really, really likes these. Then lastly, the other treat related present he got was this big box from Pedigree that comes with a toy as well. This is the Season of Good Dog and it has radio sticks, two different packs of Tasty Bites, a Denta stick and a Jumbo Bone and then this rope toy which as I mentioned before he really likes the rope toys because they are nice and strong and they usually last quite a long time so I thought that was nice included in the box of treats. For my mum and dad also is this dog and puppy shampoo. It's in the tea tree oil scent. I think this probably maybe is from TK Maxx or Home Sense, but I love the size of this. This will last a good long time. We do give him a wash in our bath because it's nice and enclosed. And you know what, guys? He is not mad about a bath. He quite enjoys a little bath and a rinse with the shower as long as it's warm. This shampoo is 500 ml, which is a great size. And I really like this bottle as well. The brand is Perfection. This next thing Sully got from my parents was this Pet Collection Ceramic Pet Bowl. This is a really nice size. It's from Audi. Audi had some really great selection of pet toys and accessories and treats and things like that. They most probably still have quite a lot of it in, so it's worth a look if you're on the hunt for a bed or just anything like that. This has silver dots on the outside, but I think the idea was that my mum got this to keep at theirs because he does have a water bowl, but he doesn't have a food bowl. When we were in Singapore, I did manage to pick up a couple of bits for Sully. They're not things he would necessarily get excited about himself, but they're more for when we go walking and things. First thing I saw in the Daiso, which is the Japanese dollar store, they have a couple of them dotted around Singapore, is these Monsters Ink bags. I have three different bags and if you guys don't know, Sully is named after the film Monsters Inc. He is the monster, he's called James P. Sullivan but they call him Sully for sure in Monsters so that is who he is named after and I spotted these really adorable Monster Sink bags with Sully on. I have three different types but I thought these would be good to reuse. I would definitely be reusing them and um, to keep his treats in when we go out for walks. The other thing that I saw in Daiso was this dog bowl just folds up it's in this rubber but again this is good for on the go because it has this hook that you can hook it onto a bag and things like that but this in pink just because I'm going to be the one carrying it, so I quite like the pink one. They also had a tan colour. One more thing that I saw for Sully in Singapore was from Bath and Body Works. And I like picking up when we go to a Bath and Body Works their anti backs. Unfortunately, they don't have shops here in the UK, but when I do get the chance, I do stock up. I managed to find this really wonderful anti back holder, but not only does it hold your anti back in the front, it also holds poo bags in the back which I thought was a genius idea and again it's just got this clip so you can clip it onto a bag but this is super useful when we're out walking especially when you are 
are picking up poo, sometimes you don't have anywhere that you can wash your hands, so it's nice to have an anti-back to hand. Lastly, from my parents, my mum just picked up a couple of wet pouch boxes for Sully. We don't always feed him wet food, it's just on occasion. He does have this specific dry food that is recommended by the vet. Sometimes it's nice just as a treat for him to have a wet pouch or if we're traveling or something like that. These are just by the brand Earl's. I think Earl's is Audi's own brand. In here is a mix of flavors. But these ones are in gravy and then these ones are in jelly. That is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I thought this would be a little bit of a different video. Rather than sharing with you a conventional what I got for Christmas video, I just thought it'd be a nice idea to share with you what Sully got because it is his first Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community. Thank you so much for all your support over 2019 and I look forward to bringing you lots of new and exciting videos in 2020. Have a wonderful New Year's Eve, whatever you're doing. And from me, Sully, and also Ben, who's sat downstairs, I will see you next year. Happy New Year, guys. Take care. Bye.